Hello everyone, Skids here and welcome to today's video where I'll be talking about my reasons and opinions about why I think Fallout New Vegas is a better game than Fallout 4 is. Now first of all, I'm not here to bash on Fallout 4, I personally think it is an amazing game and it had tons of good features, but when I compare it to previous Fallouts, it still lacked a few things and I don't think it reached its full potential. Another reason why I'm also making this video is because there has been a lot of discussion about whether Fallout 4 or New Vegas is superior and I wanted to add my two cents into this discussion and tell you my reasons why I think that Fallout New Vegas is better than Fallout 4. So let's get to it. My first and biggest reason is RPG elements. Now most of the RPG elements were removed from Fallout 4 and it was basically made into an FPS shooter. Now in New Vegas everything from skills to perks to conversation to combat is determined by your choices that you make when you create your character. If you're gonna focus on barter, charisma and speech you're gonna be extremely good in dialogues but you're gonna be bad in combat. And on the other side, if you only focus on guns and on nothing else, you're gonna excellent at killing enemies. But when you want to have a better deal or try to use your silver tongue on any of the enemies, you're gonna end up in a bad situation. Now everything like this was removed from Fallout 4 thanks to its leveling system that I didn't really want to discuss in depth in this video and I'm kinda saving it for the next one. Other one of RPG elements that I miss is the weapons and armor degradation and their repairing. I know this can be a bit annoying for some people but I personally really enjoyed it because it made you care about your weapons and armors and you couldn't just dump them anywhere and sometimes you were thinking about maybe using the armor you don't longer need to repair the armor you like and same of course applied to weapons. Now these RPG elements tie to another one of my reasons and that is role playing. Now in Fallout 4 you are a former military or if you're playing as a female you are a lawyer that is looking for his son and that is his main objective in this game. While in Fallout New Vegas you're a courier that was supposed to just deliver the chip to Mr. House but you actually don't have to do any of that, you don't know your background, your name and everything about you is just up to you to create and thanks to the fact that the character is not voice acted you can just project your voice or any other custom voice on your dialogue choices and you can basically create any sort of character you want. Here I am not saying that it is impossible to roleplay in Fallout 4, it is still possible to ignore your quest to find your son but it is hard to create their own character with its own background and its own set of skills. Also thanks to the fact that RPG system is missing like I mentioned before. This yet again ties to choices and karma system. In Fallout 4 you're basically a good guy and it is almost impossible to be a bad guy. I mean in dialogue all you can do is choose yes, ask a question, say no which will actually mean yes in the end and then also say maybe that will still result in yes. Well, in New Vegas there were tons of different dialogue choices you could choose. There were times which, when your dialogue choices decide the course of the rest of your game. While in Fallout 4 this is non-existent and any of your dialogue choices don't matter. In Fallout 4 it was always me asking questions and then saying yes. While in New Vegas you could ask usually tons of questions, some background about the character and generally just talk about lots of other stuff with most of the NPCs. Now I kinda get why they did that. I mean voice acting all of those lines would took way too much but they could have just remove the voiced actor if they wanted. I know they kind of wanted to make a step forward with Fallout 4 but I think this was actually one of the bad choices they made. It was not entirely bad but they could have implemented it better. Anyway I'm not here to talk about the voiced uh, protagonist. Like I mentioned the karma system is also non-existent, you are always made to play a good guy. You can sometimes be a prick or sarcastic but that never determines your relationship with any characters while in New Vegas you can be become enemies with factions just by choosing wrong dialogue choices and that was an amazing feature that was also used in a lot of quests. I mean I saw a video on I think the White Society quest, uh, I don't remember its name currently but you could actually play that quest in six different ways that offered six different endings and in Fallout 4 this is non-existent. All you can do is maybe have two choices on how to end the quest that are either good, bad and there are no great choices in between usually. Now since I already mentioned factions let me talk a little bit about them. In New Vegas there are tons of different factions that you actually have a relationship with and depending on your relationship you can either become enemies with them, you can either take companions from that faction, you can complete quests for them and do just various different activities depending on what sort of relationship you have with that faction. In Fallout 4 there is always that one quest that will make you hostile with the faction but it is always one predetermined quest that always occurs on the same time. Now of course if 
you want you can just like in New Vegas shoot all the people of that faction and they will of course become hostile to you but other than that one quest that will make you an enemy there are no other choices for you to change relationship with the faction in New Vegas of course this does not happen there were some quests where you could become enemies with the faction and there were also some quests where you can become their ally and kind of turn the situation around which I really enjoyed also I think that the factions were a lot better personally I mean here you basically have the good guys which are the minute when institute is portrayed as the bad guys even though you can actually join them which is basically the only way for you to become sort of bad even though it is kind of up to debate whether institute is actually bad or not and we've got bus and railroad all of those factions kind of seemed plain to me other than big bad to brotherhood of steel and institute they were not fleshed out very much i mean railroad had a very similar storyline to synth only at one point you decide to go against them now in new vegas there is something similar like this i mean you can always finish the game with yes man and he does kind of have a similar storyline to Mr. House, but there are just some different things to it. And when it comes to war between NCR and Legion, these two storylines are totally different. There are some same quests that you can do, but you're gonna be doing totally different things in both of them. For example, the assassination of President Kimball for Legion, you're trying to do it. For NCR, trying to stop it. And there are some other examples that just make this a lot more exciting. And these different factions actually made me do a second and third playthrough. While in Fallout 4, I just kind of don't feel like doing it because almost nothing changes only reason why i would do a second playthrough is to play for the institute other than that i don't really have any reason to play it again and of course that is another problem why i think that fallout 4 is inferior to new vegas i mean the ability to replay this game is kind of low you can't make any different choices except choose a different faction well in new vegas there were tons of different quests that could end in a different way that actually affected different storylines and you really had reasons to come back to that game another thing that ties to writing and story are also mp PCs. Now this is mainly fault of the dialogue system in Fallout 4 that like I said doesn't allow you to talk too much to the NPCs and know about their background but I have to say that New Vegas NPCs were a lot more complex than the Fallout 4 ones. Now I'm not talking about companions here. Fallout 4 I think actually had better companions than New Vegas and all of their backgrounds were fleshed out and their stories were pretty good but when it comes to normal NPCs Fallout 4 just lacked something and I was never interested into anyone and when I was trying to choose my top 10 favorite characters it was hard to find 10 I like. There were some interesting characters like Commander Zulu or the whole Cabot family or the Silver Shroud quest that were absolutely great had tons of great interaction great dialogue great combat the doors are only a few drops in a huge amount of not interesting npcs and quests in fallout 4 and my last sort of major reasons are the settlements in fallout 4 you're basically made to create your own settlements and there are almost no cities or any other towns in the game only big cities you can find are good neighbor and diamond city other than that most of the settlements are created by you now new Vegas again did this better I mean, of course, it is a Mojave Desert, there are tons of just empty spaces where you could just travel through desert and don't find anything. But when you found the settlement, it was always interesting, it had its own background, some quests, interesting NPCs that you could talk to, and usually you could even decide the fate of the settlement. Novak had the whole boon thing, in Sloan you could kill all the dead claws, New Vegas and Freeside were just amazing, with tons of good quests. Then we also got Westside, Jacobstown, Boomers, and so on. So yeah, in Fallout 4, there weren't really many good settlements and I hope that Far Harbor changes that and we're gonna get some new cities that were created by the NPCs and not by you. And yeah guys, I guess these are all the major reasons why I think that Fallout New Vegas is better than Fallout 4. I think I am almost 100% sure I missed something because I was in rush when I was making this video. And so make sure you let me know in the comments what you think are some of the other reasons why New Vegas is better than Fallout 4. If you're a bigger fan of Fallout 4 than New Vegas, feel free to comment as well. I want to know your reasons for liking Fallout 4 more. If I contradict myself in some parts of the video feel free to let me know as well there is a chance I might have talked some nonsense along the way because I was very excited and heated and in rush when I made this video so yeah guys let me know what you think especially what you think about these discussion videos because I have a lot of fun making them they are easier to make than the usual top tens and other stuff like that and if you guys enjoy them I would like to make more of these so in the comments let me know if you like them and yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did tell me what you think about it in the comments subscribe for more Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4 content and I will see you next time.